Well, I guess this is what a funeral for a streaming service feels like. Kind of depressing, really. Well, farewell PlayStation View. Let's dive in. Yes, PlayStation View does seem to be in trouble. But honestly, this is probably a little premature. It's not so much that this is a funeral as it is kind of putting a streaming service in hospice care. Because, frankly, the competition is running away. Hulu Live and Sling TV, they both now have northwards of 2 million subscribers. PlayStation View, meanwhile, has shrunk. Their now reports put them at about a half million subscribers. So, industry analysts have been calling on Sony to shut down PlayStation View for a while. But... They're not doing that. In fact, they're making plans for the future, which is a little odd for something that seems to have one foot in the grave. So maybe it doesn't. The question now is whether it's worth your money. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do that, I'll just remind you to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can be reminded when we are back here every Wednesday and every Friday with a new video just like this one. Now, PlayStation View. Let's talk a little more about it. So let's start out by talking about the base package and its channel count, which is actually pretty okay. 45 channels, including the ones that you guys ask about most often in the comments below, Discovery, AMC, HGTV, so it has a lot of those basics. Now, it is going to be missing any Viacom channels across the entirety of PlayStation View, so Viacom channels would be, well, anything owned by Viacom, BET, MTV, Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, all those channels are missing, but that's also missing from YouTube TV and Hulu Live which are some of our favorites, so it's kind of hard to ding PS View too much for that. Now, if you want to bump yourself up to the next package up, the core package, yes, it's $5 a month more, but what you're getting is more sports content. So if you are a sports person, this is going to be valuable to you. With the basic package, you're getting ESPN and Fox Sports, those kind of sports standbys. But when you bump up to that core package, you do get MLB Network, NFL Network, NBA TV. So if you're craving more sports content, that five bucks a month extra might be worth it to you. Local channels are a little bit different beast and it's really hard for me to review those because frankly, it's gonna be different in every metro area. So you're just gonna have to go check uh, with PlayStation View what they offer in your area. The good news is they're pretty good about it. Also on the good news side of things is the DVR, which it does have its quirks. Like for instance, you can't record any premium channels, but that's usually okay. If you wanna watch something on HBO, it's probably gonna be available on demand anyway. Uh, you also can't fast forward Fox FX or FXX programs, which is annoying, but you know, that's the way it is. Every DVR has its quirks. Uh, but aside from those things, it is a good DVR. It's high capacity. They measure it a little bit differently. It's 500 episodes that you can record on that DVR. So doing the math, that usually comes out to about 100 to 250 hours of content that you can record. Once you've got that on the DVR, you can keep that for up to 28 days. Now, picture quality is another bright spot, but this is something they've been famous about for a while. Now, the official literature says that if you want optimal picture quality, you need to have a connection of at least 10 megabits per second for a single stream and add five megabits per second per simultaneous stream. So knowing what we know about how unreliable some internet service providers can be in providing the speed that they advertise, I would go for a plan that's at least 25 to 50 megabits per second reliably in order to get the best picture quality for you. So those are the pros, but none of those exactly explain why PlayStation View is having such problems, obviously. So we're gonna have to look at the cons. And the first one is name confusion. PlayStation View implies that you have to watch it on a PlayStation. Now, that's not true. You can watch it on any major device like Roku or Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV. These all have PlayStation View apps that you can use. That's great. But if you're just starting out on your cord cutting experience and you're just starting your preliminary research, I can see how that might be pretty confusing. Also confusing is the simultaneous streams issue. Now this is gonna be important to you if you have roommates or family members and you guys want to stream shows simultaneously in separate rooms or something, you can do that. Now the PlayStation View official literature says you can have up to five streams at once. And I guess that's true, but here's how it works, I think. You get three simultaneous streams in your home, on your home network, on any device you want. And in your home area, we're talking geographically close to your home, you can have three simultaneous streams, including that one in your home. So that makes up to five. But anything outside your home can't be done on a streaming box like a Roku or an Apple TV. It has to be on a mobile device. Uh, and if you are 
outside your home area, say you're traveling and you want to use PlayStation View, you can only do that for 60 days before it shuts down because it thinks you moved and you have to call customer service and reactivate it. And I think that's, I think this is how it works. Here's what I'm going to do. In a future video, I'll be digging into this in more detail. So I want you to hit the comments below if you have any specific questions about how the simultaneous streams work for PlayStation View, let me know. I want to know your questions so that I can make sure I answer them in that future video. Now, I'm gonna go hurl. If you're gonna spew, spew into this. And then there's price. Okay, $45 for the base package, and you get 45 channels, plus some local ones, depending on your area. So, you think $45 for 45 channels, a dollar a channel, that's not too bad. That's true, I guess, until you compare it to the other $45 competitor on the market, and that's Hulu Live. They've got 67 nationwide channels, plus the local ones, again, depending on your area. And you can see how the value over there is quite a bit greater than what you're getting on PlayStation View. Over there on Hulu, you're not just getting the 67 channels, you're getting Hulu itself, including Hulu Live TV. So a lot of value over there. It's easy to see why people would jump ship to the other $45 base package at Hulu Live. To get that sort of channel count on PlayStation View, you'd have to go to the Elite package, 60 bucks a month, quite a jump from there. You know what though, ultimately I could come up with a list of cons for any of these streaming services. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're not worth it. It doesn't mean that PlayStation View has one foot in the grave. What it does mean though, is that it's not quite as vibrant or exciting as Hulu Live or YouTube TV, and those are the two services that I would probably direct a new cord cutter toward. If you're already with PlayStation View, I kind of think of it the same way as DirecTV now. If you already have it, you like it, that's fine, stick with it. And don't forget we only have two more days left in the giveaway for the TCL Roku TV, so check out the description, there's a link there, where if you subscribe to the channel and like and share and all these things, you can get entered to win that TV. So subscribe for future giveaways as well. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next video.